there is a bit of a sore subject in cinema and one of, well, there's lots of them, but one of them is the idea of union versus freelance independent. So let's break this down really quick. Union, if you work in a union, you have generally a very consistent work schedule and you know where your next job is going to come from. That's why you pay your dues. You pay your dues so you have these very, I mean, fair wages is one way to say it. It's a very, it's a very high end wage generally when you work with inside of a union. That's one way to do it and that's cool. You get your job and you know that you have work coming in and there's security there and that's, that's awesome and that definitely works for a large majority of people and I have no problems with that whatsoever. It's a great way to go after your job and your art. For me, however, I like to work more on the freelance independent side. And what that means is you don't know where your next job is going to come from. You don't know, you know, how much money you're going to make on every single gig. You can do certain things to make sure that you do have a consistent income, but here's the difference. In a union, you pay to get the work. You pay your dues in order to get the work coming in. When you're working freelance, however, you have to do the work to get the work. Whether this means that you need to do your own marketing, whether this means that you need to put in your own time and effort to go door to door saying, knock, knock, hi, I'm a freelance cinematographer and this is my reel and this is what I do and I'd like to do a commercial for you. I mean, if you're out of work as a freelance cinematographer, if you're not going door to door to businesses to try to pick up work, then, and you're just sitting at home twiddling your thumbs waiting for the next thing to come in, then you're not putting in the amount of effort that you could put in. Here's a cool thing that comes along though. If you're a freelance cinematographer, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything at all. If you're working union, you've got an obligation. You have a job and you need to show up and do it. The other cool thing about this is that when you're freelance, you can do whatever you want. If you want to be the gaffer, if you want to be the DP, if you want to be, if you want to run the entire show, you can do that. If you get a gig and you want to bring on a whole bunch of people and then you're just going to direct or you're just going to, you know, say you're just going to be the producer and you're just going to make th sure that things are set up and you're just going to say, okay, you guys run the show. I'll set it up and everything, but you guys take care of everything. You can do that too. When you're in the union, you know that you have work coming in, but you have a specific role and that's what you got to do. The other cool thing about the unions too is that they really give you some great training inside each of the unions. I know a friend of mine who went into a union in, uh, I believe it was Albuquerque, and he got to work on, I mean, he got to work on Breaking Bad, he got to work on Better Call Saul, he got to work on Terminator Salvation, he got to work on 310 to Yuma. I mean, these major films, you don't get that with the freelance side most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't get that in the freelance side. So there's really this balancing act when you have to decide, do I want to join a union and have a job and have that set up and be told this is what you're going to be doing and you can work to get higher in this, but right now this is what you're limited to, or do I want to go freelance where I don't really know where my next paycheck's going to come from and at the same time, I get to do whatever I want. So if I want to be in charge of my own marketing and I want to go door to door and say, Hey, here's my reel. Do you guys, do you want to work together? Here's my business plan. Here's what I have to offer. You can do that. If you don't want to do any of that, if you want to work one gig a month, you can do that too. I mean, it really opens up this entire realm of possibilities for you to build your own schedule, work the way you want, which is all great. But again, where are you going to get that training from that the union provides? Now I'm not anti-union and well, I am pro freelancing. But again, I'm not anti-union. There is a time, there is a place, and there definitely is a, there is something that the union fulfills. And that's the specific jobs that they can't be absolutely certain that freelancers can come in and just say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll gaff that, or yeah, I'll grip that, I'll, I'll be the electric on that. They don't always know that, you know, if a freelancer comes in, are they going to get the job done right?
a union person, they know, okay, they've had this training, they should be able to do this. And most of the time they can, and it's no problem. You really gotta decide which way do you wanna go? Team red, team blue, and I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you're still working in film and you're still doing that type of thing. They just have two different types of pros and cons. I know people who work in the union who love it, and I know people who work freelance that would never trade it to go to union. And the union guys are like, freelance seems exhausting. At the same time, don't be surprised when you're a freelancer that you have to do work to get the work. You know, there is a freedom involved in freelancing and I love that. That's why I am a freelancer, I'm an independent cinematographer and I don't, and when I say independent cinematographer, I don't mean indie cinema, I mean I'm an independent cinematographer. So I'm not attached to a company or an organization outside of my own. That's how I like to do my films and that's how I like to make my own money to put the roof over my head. So if one had one main advantage over another, what would it be? Well, in terms of the unions, I think we've already talked about that. I mean, you have the security of work, you have health insurance that's probably already covered for you. Yeah, pretty much every single union will cover your health insurance and you'll have, you'll be taken care of that way. Freelance, it can be anything you want. I mean, if you want to put in, you know, 100 hours a week, you can do that. If you want to put in four hours a week, you can do that too. But you don't have anyone holding your job on the line saying, hey, if you don't do X, Y, Z, you're going to be fired. So freelance is my favorite way to go because I know that I'm being held responsible for all of the work that I do. And I can also do anything I want. I can be as creative as I want to. If I build a new light setup, I can bring that in and I can use that on a freelance job. I can't really build a new light setup and bring it in on a union gig because there are going to be people ahead of me and above me who look at that and go, what the hell is that? No, no, no. Get the Xenon back in there. We don't want to use that. Get the PAR 64 back. We don't want to use the... So, you have a lot more creative control on the freelance side than you do on the union side. Same time, union will give you these benefits that the freelance side won't, such as healthcare and security of work. The last thing I wanna say about this, and I'm gonna be a little bit biased towards the freelance side because I have more experience on that side than I do on the union side, is this. If you go freelance, you can not only make your own schedule and not only, you know, figure out what your own prices you want to set are, but you can also decide to say, you know what, this is how I want to shoot it. You can't say anything like that on the union side. If you're a grip in a union, you're going to go in and you're going to set up the stands, you're going to bug her out and you're going to go sit by the grip truck until something else is called for by a gaffer who has the creative decisions to decide on the lighting until the DP says, no, you don't have that decision until the director says, no, I'm taking that decision. So if you go freelance, you get to make whatever creative decisions you want and your vision shines through. You're able to create your reel. You're able to create all your, you know, you're able to create your entire industry because you have the freedom to do all of that. Freedom is a really important part of cinematography and it's the way a lot of things are re are invented, you know. Union side doesn't invent a lot of new stuff most of the time because you have a job that you have to follow. When you're a freelancer and you have to figure some way out to make something work, that's when you get inventive for the most part. I'm not saying the unions have never given us anything good, so don't start hating. I'm just saying when freelancers don't have the accessibility that the unions have, they have to make new decisions and come up with new ideas to make something work because they don't have the budget, they don't have the funds to be able to make it go the same way the union does. That's what I like and I believe that the freelancing side stretches my personal mind much more than the union side does. Yes, if I went union, I'd be able to learn quite a bit more. I've worked with a lot of guys in different unions who have taught me so, so much, but at the same time, I'd rather go freelance because I want to be able to know that I have full creative control and I can do whatever I want with the footage when I shoot it.